Hi, I'm Jason Mears, and this is Graphic Cards, GPU Basics, all part of the vSphere 7 Home Lab series. So we're going to oversimplify things a little bit here, but essentially there's three main types of GPU graphics that can be used in a virtual machine. The first is the original software, or Soft 3D version, and this is a software-generated VGA card which is entirely performed in software on the hypervisor and can be used on one or more virtual machines. So every virtual machine can have its own software graphics card. This was the um, original way of doing things in, in VMware. The next one is a dedicated graphics card or pass through and what we do is we use the PCI bus to pass through an individual device to an individual VM so this is a hardware one-to-one -one mapping so one PCI card in the server can be passed through to a to one virtual machine and it's a dedicated pass through the next one is a shared GPU and this is the kind of thing you see with NVIDIA Grid or AMD multi-user and this is where you have one usually quite powerful graphics card in the server and it can be used by multiple VMs as a, as a direct hardware card so it's a one-to-many mapping and we'll go through each of those in turn now so the first one Soft3D this is the one that's entirely performed in software and this is just a virtual uh, graphics card uh, done in software uh, performance is a lot lower than hardware accelerated because it's not it's uh, it's emulated in software. Um, there's no hardware acceleration whatsoever, and it can be used for graphics for just general purpose operating system graphics. But I wouldn't uh, probably use it for things like CAD, CAM, or heavily uh, imaging programs. And it can't be used for compute. There's so things like CUDA and OpenCL don't exist on a software version of a VGA card. Um, so it, it, its only purpose is for a general purpose OS graphics um, in, inside a virtual machine. The next one is this dedicated pass-through. This is where we do a PCI pass-through. And this is where we have a hardware device in a server that's mapped directly to a VM. And there's a one-to-one -one mapping uh, for this uh, video card directly to a virtual machine. Performance is much better than software and soft 3D because you've got hardware acceleration and that VM has got full use of the full capability of the card. And it can be used for graphics, so not just operating system, but CAD, CAM and any kind of imaging. And it can be used for compute, so things like CUDA and OpenCL. So the only caveat on that is that where we say here, can be used for graphics, can be used for compute, it requires an OS driver from the original manufacturer. So if you're running, say, Windows 10 with this card, there must be a Windows 10 version of that driver that can be installed natively inside the virtual machine to provide those advanced graphics capabilities or things like CUDA and OpenCL for compute-based workloads. So this is essentially passing through a single graphics card and a PCI slot to a virtual machine um, for it to use in entirety. So it's a one-to-one -one mapping. The next thing then is a shared GPU, so something like NVIDIA Grid, and this is where one graphics card inside a server is used on multiple VMs, and it's a one-to-many mapping. Uh, performance is much better than software and soft 3D, and the hardware acceleration uh, varies because you can give a single machine the entire use of the whole GPU, or you can carve it up into multiple slices. So it may be for something like AI and machine learning, you give all of the GPU or lots of GPU to a small number of machines, and it may be something that in end user computing or VDI, you create lots of smaller slices and give lots of machines uh, GPU acceleration on a on a Horizon or a VDI type deployment. So um, you carve it into slices and you decide how big the slices are, but it's essentially shared hardware inside a server. So one card that can do one to many. Uh, it can be used for graphics, absolutely. It's the most common use for it, but it can also do things like CAD, CAM and imaging software, and it can also be used for compute if you've got drivers for things like CUDA and OpenCL. Again, the caveat here is you must have a driver uh, that supports this from the original manufacturer. So in this example, you would use the NVIDIA Grid drivers, you'd install those in vSphere, and then this capability presents itself to each virtual machine. And then just a bit of a summary here, if we go into a virtual machine and we have a look at the GPU settings for that, you'll see that some of the settings here will actually change depending on the operating system you've picked. So if I pick a uh, virtual machine and I say it's running Windows Server, I might find that some of these boxes are disabled or unticked. Uh, 
and I might find that if I change the exact same virtual machine to say Windows 10 sometimes these features will appear specifically things like 3D support I found in the past um, so just to say that some of these features are based on the operating system you did you chose when you first built the virtual machine and note here that 3D is treated separately and there's options for automatic hardware and software and again th these will change depending on what kind of card or pass-through or hardware or software emulation you're using and then just another note here where we're going to do a GPU pass-through so in this example this is one of my home lab servers that's got a Quadro uh, P400 in it which I've used for with GPU pass-through and when I select this by adding a new PCI device it asks me would I like to do direct path as in map this one-to-one -one. Dynamic, dynamic direct path which means this virtual machine can pick one of a number of cards pass-through or fully blown NVIDIA grid vGPU or virtual GPU so this is where I pick the card and then when I've added that device it allows me to pick from a list here so I've got you can see in this box I've got a Quadro P400 and I've also got a Quadro 2000 and the associated audio that comes with those on, on the cards so in this example as I say again Quadro P400 pass through using direct IO um, as, um, as a dedicated card for this virtual machine with just these choices here, how should I pass it through? Direct path, dynamic direct path, and NVIDIA grid G vGPU. So there is going to be more about this in a, in a follow-on video, but just for now I wanted to cover the basics of graphics acceleration and GPU acceleration, because without understanding which kind of GPU we're using, it makes it difficult to do the next set of videos. So this was a very oversimplified version of the different types of GPU you can use in a VMware virtual machine. Thank you very much for your time. I hope you found that useful.